Hi guys, this is Hai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will see what is our upcoming series which we are focusing on in Angular. In Angular, I am focusing on Angular services. So this is very crucial part of Angular and I can say like it is a one of the chamber of Angular where you have to know about this. And in this video, I will try to explain what is a roadmap of this particular series and what are the topics which we cover in this particular Angular series. Let me go into the next slide and here are the different types of topics which are very high level topics and we will deep dive into each and every topic and we will understand what are they useful for and how to make services very familiar and flexible for each and every developer. So here the first topic we will focus on service introduction. So what is services in Angular? and what is a dependency injection, how to use that dependency injection and what is the power of services especially in Angular and what is singleton pattern and why we are using singleton pattern in services. And the second topic is how to create the service. We can create by using CLI and also we can create the services by creating a file and writing our own boilerplate code. So that is one thing where we can create the services. and how we can inject this particular service and what are the different types of levels we can inject this particular service and how to use and how that behavior will work in Angular. So we'll see that service injection process as well and then we'll see how these services help us in communicating between the components. How can I communicate from one component to the other component by using services and how we will be using this particular services to do the HTTP calls as well and also we'll focus on how the services helps in standalone components. So already we know that Angular 15 released a standalone components. How we will use the services in standalone components, how we will communicate between the standalone components, we'll focus even on that particular concepts. And also there is something called as injectors and injection tokens which is again dependent on the services and or what are the different processes which we go whenever we are using an injectors and injection token process. So we'll discuss all these high level topics in depth and also we'll try to segregate the videos if they are more number of subtopics in our series. Hope this gives you a brief roadmap of Angular services in my particular series. If you are able to follow all the playlist videos in this particular service series, you will get a glance and a brief understanding of services in Angular. And after following all this, just you can go and create your own services use in your real time projects. So if you are really interested, please stay tuned and watch all the videos for better understanding and be a pro in Angular. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.